So I've been told I have to do this um, with yellow white cross base because apparently this looks different to this. So for the first step of Tulik OLL, we assume you already know the standard algorithm for this to solve the cross F R U R prime U prime F prime. Now there are three different cases, however, that you can have. For the f for this case, it's just f r u r prime u prime f prime, just like the standard algorithm, nothing different. However, when you have this shape here, uh, triangle, I guess I don't really know what I can say to recognise it, but just this shape, you can just do that algorithm twice, or you can do the reverse of it, which is f u r u prime r prime f prime and that will get you across right away now if you do either of those two algorithms when you have a dot like this you will get one of the other cases however what I recommend you do is just f r u r prime u prime f prime so the standard out and then a wide f r u r prime u prime f prime obviously for the dot you can just do f r u r prime u prime f prime and then to solve it as if you had this case now the second part of tulik oll is probably the harder part because there are seven cases and therefore seven algorithms you need to learn sort of you could merge them a bit but there are seven cases. So I'd assume that you already know this case here, this algorithm here, as it says in my tutorial, if you have one correct corner in the front left, hold it. Hold it in the front left. So R U R prime U R U2 R prime. Just like that. The inverse of that we have here. So previously you would have been taught to hold it there and do that same algorithm but in this case because the corners are facing the other way not facing towards you like that in that slot there you're going to have to do this algorithm here r u2 r prime u prime r u prime r prime In this case here, what you're essentially doing, so you have four corners and these two are facing towards you and these two are facing away from you. What you can essentially do is either one of those previous cases twice. Now my recommendation is that you do the last algorithm I taught you twice. However, you can cancel moves in the middle. So what you can do is R U2 R prime U R U R prime and then do it again. Or you can sort of save a few moves by merging the two together by doing R U2 R prime U prime R U R prime U prime R U prime R prime For this case here where you have two corners in incorrect um, like opposite from each other it's debatable as to which algorithm you should use but I personally would actually recommend quite a long algorithm but quite easy to understand based on the one I just went over. So it's essentially three of that same algorithm, except you can cancel even more in the middle. So just R U2 R prime U prime, and then R U R prime U prime, R U R prime U prime, R U prime R prime. It's long, but it can be done really fast, so I wouldn't worry about that. And 
pretty easy to remember if you remember the other two. So here we have this case here where you have these two corners facing towards you but these two are not facing it away and in this case you should hold it here and do R U2 R2 U prime R2 U prime R2 U2 R for this case here where you have just two corners facing towards you and the other two are solved what you need to do is a bit more complicated because it's not just R and U moves you need to do R2 D R prime U2 R D prime R prime U2 R prime and finally for this case also a bit more complicated because you're going to have to remember the wide move where you go R wide R like that U R prime U prime and then wide R prime F R F prime now a wide move is just this will just be written as a lowercase letter so it will be a lowercase r that means turn the right two layers like that it may sort of look like an l move but the rotation means it's not because an l move would be like that and your orientation would be still on the green whereas a wide r move the center you're holding it there is going to be white now 